Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. You can call me Jen. I invite you to subscribe below. We talk a lot about makeup, beauty, skincare, all the things, as well as beach lifestyle. I do live at the beach, so it's a lot of fun to sprinkle that in here every once in a while. But today, talking about what I got from the Sephora sale, I finally, finally, you guys got my Sephora haul. Goodness, my order finally came in. We have the box here. So let's get into it. All right, so first up, I am gonna share, I did, I am like, I never purchased perfume. This one, like, piqued my interest so much. I did purchase the Jo Malone London. This is the Sakura Cherry Blossom Cologne. It's a light floral. The lightness of spring, pure and transient, delicate, airy, pretty. This is like me in a nutshell when it comes to perfume. I don't want anything that's going to give me a headache. I don't want anything that's going to be super heavy or I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not like that. So I blind bought this. It came available during the Sephora sale. So I was like, oh, should I, should I not? And then I thought to myself, should I get the big one? <laughs> and then I like, I said, no, Jen, you can't get the big one because you haven't even smelled it. <laughs> so I did order the small one. It's a pretty little bottle. I did smell it because I was so curious about this beforehand. Can I tell you? It's so nice. It's light, airy, cherry blossomy, <laughs> I guess, if that makes sense. A little bit more powdery, I would say, than the Dior Sakura. This, guys, is like my alt. It's so good. This Dior Sakura from Dior. This is a little, has a little bit more like powder, powdery dry, like when it dries down, it's a little bit more powdery to me, but it smells really good. It's similar yet different than the Dior Secura. So I was curious, I was curious. So I will wear it more, let you know what I think and all that, but I'm very glad I picked it up because I do like the scent. Got some samples in here, let's see. All right, first up, I picked up, okay, I went back and forth about this because I was like, I do not know. L literally, y'all, I placed like one order. I got a lip liner. I got another, let's see. Okay, I did order another Givenchy lip liner because when I was talking to y'all about what to get from the Sephora sale, I was like, I only have one Givenchy lip liner. Like, who am I? <laughs> who am I? That is like... Not good. This is the one I ordered. They didn't have a lot in stock, so I did order this rose taffetas. I'm trying to branch out in the colors that I pick for like lipstick, lip liner, etc. because I'm always going for those brownie nudes, y'all. <laughs> I know, I know, I can't help it. So I had the nine and I got number three. So, let me put a little bit on. See, definitely brighter. Pretty. I'm excited about that. Next up, I did pick up this new Kosas concealer. Well, it's new to me. I had not tried it yet. <sighs> Picking a shade online was the hardest. I've heard it's really difficult to pick a shade. 03W is a great shade for me, y'all. I used it today under my eyes right here. This is really nice really really nice like i'm very surprised i like it so much so so far so good with that um like i haven't tried really anything else y'all i really couldn't help myself i was so excited i did pick up the charlotte tilbury pillow talk palette why i have no idea i don't know i was like it's this is a dreams one and i don't people were talking about how good it is and i'm like you know what okay i'll try it and i had tried a few different like dreams i had reached back in i'd been cleaning out all the stuff i changed rooms for filming things like that and i pulled out some charlotte tilbury and i'm like these are really nice like these are good palettes i'm like why don't i like her stuff like i guess i just got so tired of the pillow talk range that i just became bored <laughs> for lack of a better term i mean honestly i'm just being honest about it but this one kind of intrigued me and I thought it might be a good, wow, that's really pretty. 
this might be a good palette for spring and summer, especially like beachy tones and things like that. That is really pretty. Okay. That's nice, right? We're going to have to swatch that and play. That looks nice. I'm excited now. <laughs> I get so excited about this. this like... Next thing I did pick up is the Say Translucent Medium Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder. I bought this because I wanted to try it. I don't know. I hope it's the right shade, quite frankly. Oh, nice. So see how this is? you open it and close it so you don't have to like worry about that would be great for travel here i'm just putting a little bit i'm going to close it now very nice i like that so not a ton comes out at one time i've heard nice things about it but we will see i like the packaging it's a medium shade it's translucent that's it on me i think it will work great Okay, I did go a little nuts on the pillow top. I don't know what. Like, I thought this was really cool. Like, this whole thing. All right, ended up getting this. This is a highlighter. This is Romance Light. Now, she had two, I think. Uh, I think there was a deep and then a lighter one. So, I got the lighter one. And, ooh. That's gorgeous. So, it's a beautifying all-over glow highlighter. It's 24 month shelf life. Let's see how this looks. Mmm. That's really pretty, right? Yeah. I need to take a picture of how pretty this is first, don't you think? I mean, that's gorgeous. I got so. the Pillow Talk mascara. Now, this is in Dream Pop, and it's like a burgundy, and I was like, yes. Now, Charlotte Tilbury and I have not gotten along with mascaras. <laughs> some things I love from her brand. Some things I cannot find anything that works for me, like a foundation and a mascara. Now I have not done the, I have not tried the push-up lashes. The other ones, I think I forget which kind they were, but those really, I've really had a hard time with because they would just smudge and crease everywhere. Not crease, smudge, literally everywhere. So this is going to be cool. Here, this pretty packaging. It's like a matte feel to it. It's got that burgundy. Oh, now here is the wand. That is interesting, right? Cool. I love the color. It's going to look awesome. I mean, it's going to look cool. And then the other thing I know, I was, I was so good until the end. I was so good. Like I had gotten that one thing. And then I picked up this stuff. So this is the Pillow Talk Light Beauty Wand. I've had her contour wand before. And it was really nice. This one I have not, I have not tried the actual. Oh, wow. Hold on. Oh. This packaging is not my favorite, but let's see what this looks like. That's a Pillow Talk highlighter. It's the highlighting one. That's a pretty shade. What do you think? That's gonna look pretty for summer, right? Spring, summer. Very nice. <laughs> We're still going. Oh, I'm just gonna take it out of the box. I don't know. I had to get this. The Baccarat perfume is like one of my all-time favorite perfumes. And then I heard, especially, like, especially for fall, winter, like it's such a good. Oh, it's like intoxicating scent. So, anyways, I love that perfume. I heard, I heard that this smells like it, and I'm curious. This is the Be Beha Floor Elastic Cream. Beha Floor Elastic Cream. And we're going to see if it smells like it. I'm curious. I got a small one. It kind of does. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, I'm excited. I don't want to, I just put that, you know, the other perfume on, so I don't, I can't be like smelling too good over here, you know. <laughs> Guys, I watched Andrea Ali's um, 
YouTube. I, I love her. I think she's got great content. I learn a lot from her. But she talked about these Huda Beauty products. And she's like, you have to get at least two. <laughs> she was like, don't just get one. She's like, you need at least two. Um, the Cheeky Tint Blush Sticks. So I got mine in Proud Pink and Perky Peach. And I'll show you what they look like. Because I don't even know what they look like. But, oh, they're like little sticks. See, like this. I'm excited now. Ooh, this one's got like, look at that. Hold on. That's the pink one. Proud pink. All right. And she mixes hers. That's cool. Let's see. This one's mine. Oh, this is a peachy one. I don't know. They have these like, per like, look at that. Can you see the pearly? That's cool. Ooh, I like that one too. Kind of an orangey, peachy shade. Very nice. And then I picked up two products from K-Skin. I was really curious about this. I picked up the Isle Glow Face Lotion and SPF 20, 45. And then I picked up the Isle Lip Balm, SPF 30. So I needed, I needed a lip balm, specifically with SPF. So I, that's what I was looking for. And then I also wanted to look for like the sunscreen lotion, which I love a good sunscreen lotion. Um, but I'm very particular about it and it had great reviews. So we're gonna try it out. Let's look at this lip balm though. See, oh yeah, look, how nice is that? Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's just like, it's literally a bomb, guys. Let me hit it. it. Smells like candy, sugar. Ew, I like the way it looks though, right? Very nice. And then this is the Isle Glow Moisturizer. So cool. Now, it's a pearlescent face sunscreen with UVA, UVB protection that illuminates all skin tones for an instant island glow. Sign me up. So, I was just kind of playing with it, and it has a little bit of, like, a little bit of a tint to it. So, if you look at it, it definitely has that pearly, oh, it's so excited. Like, this would be so so good at like the pool, beach, all the things. So I am pumped to try that and see how this works. Hopefully it's not like drying or anything, but it looks pretty, really pretty on the skin. And I don't know if I showed this, but I did get the Gucci eyeliner. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I was like, I really want to try that. Now I did not pick up the other products from Gucci. They came out with like liquid lip, yeah, liquid lipsticks. I don't know. To me, that just seems like such a fall winter. Like, honestly, that's what I thought about it. So I was like, oh, I'm not into that right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll pick them up later, but I did pick up this and I'm excited to try. I'm going to try it out and see how it works. So, all right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the haul. Like I said, it was bigger than I expected it to be, but none, the, all the same. I'm so excited to try and see how these products work for me. And if there's items that you'd love to see reviews on first, let me know. And I would love for you to subscribe below. Don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of when I upload. And also I'll leave my latest video right here so you can see what just was uploaded before. And I'll see you over there. Bye y'all.